Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. How are all you guys doing? I hope that everyone is doing well. Um, you guys, probably like tomorrow, I'm gonna do a redrawing for last week's raffle because the winner has not gotten back with me yet. So you guys, um, just be on the lookout for that. Make sure you pay attention to my, my community board. Make sure that you guys are following me on Instagram because I always post everything on my Instagram as well. That's mystic underscore beauty. Um, you're going to know. I'm going to also announce it here on the channel just in case you don't have an Instagram. So you're, you are going to know. But um, probably like tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a, re a redrawing so that I can go ahead and get the raffle reopened. You guys have been messaging me about reopening the raffle. So I don't want to move forward until we have a winner. <clears throat> All right. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into these messages and see what is the energy for the person. Let's get the overall um, energy, all right? Let's get the general energy for the situation. Picking up star seed energy here for this group. This is her sacred knowledge. Galactic beings I'm hearing. Time travelers. All right, spirit, what is going on? Wow, investigated, investigating and haunting children. <sighs> you guys, this is an energy of someone watching you, stalking you. This is the person that actually ghosted you. Look, there's a ghost on this card. So some of you guys are dealing with someone that ghosted you that is watching you. Like, how does that a line right how do you go someone and stalk them at the same time <laughs> this is someone who could have had a baby on you with a child card being here you could have um, kids with this person or you feel like this person is extremely immature this person's having dreams about you like you've been popped up in this person dreams i'm here like you guys are um are interacting in the spiritual realm like in the 5d it says their viewer dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with someone else. This person, they're watching you to see are you dealing with another individual while they are remaining a ghost in your life at this time. Yeah, <clears throat> lack of faith. So I just feel like you know, this person, they did leave you guys out in the cold. Yes, they did. Okay, it says leave you out in the cold has been one of their biggest regrets, which has made them lose hope in the situation. So this person is, is they're not, they're, they're not hopeful that you're going to give them another opportunity. They're not hopeful that you guys are going to be able to move forward with each other. They're not hopeful that you're going to be able to forgive them because they did leave you out in the cold. I just heard this person fed you to the wolves. Yeah, this this was a player. This was a player. Yeah, this person came through, made a bunch of empty promises, did not um, fulfill, like didn't meet up to any of the things that they said. They just said a lot of things to win you over. They said a lot. They did absolutely nothing. This was definitely a, a playboy, playgirl type of energy, you know? This person, I just feel like they just strung you along or they fed you lies, you know? This is someone who you connect with through music. So even though their lower selves are absolutely doing the most right now, remaining distant, remaining cold from you, this person's higher self has a real bond, a real connection with you guys and you guys communicate through music. Someone may play the guitar, uh, like a, they, they may be like a musician or they just love music or this person may they may have a voice like they can sing for some of you guys dark night of the soul yeah this person is experiencing a massive uh, transformation they're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of new levels of love with themselves and the connection so you guys your person didn't love themselves they did not love themselves at all And a person cannot give you what they don't have to give for themselves. 
Like you can't expect someone to give you unconditional love when they don't even love themselves. They could not give you what they didn't have. This is someone who grew up um, and have never experienced compassion. They have never experienced anything outside of toxic relationship like their mother and their dad could have been in a toxic marriage or toxic connection. So they just grew up experiencing toxicity. So, you know, I just feel like this person just kind of like grew accustomed to this type of behavior and treating people like this. This is this person's coming off like the type of person that try to like woo you or sweep you off your feet. Like they swept you off your feet and literally just abandoned you. They just left you out to dry. They hung you out to dry. Um, this wish energy is here again, but you guys know that, um, well, we all know those of you guys that follow me, like I, I, I tend to attract a lot of divine beings that watch me. Like I attract a lot of very powerful, um, witches and warlocks type of energy, people who have very mystical type of, um, gifts and energies. Those are normally the type of people that are every now and then a karmic will come through and subscribe to my channel or a karmic will come through. And you know what I'm saying? Like every now and then somebody will leave the gate open and a karmic energy will come through. But normally I have a lot of divine beings here on my channel that, you know, they are a part of my soul tribe, you know? So it's here again. I said it in the last video that you guys were witches and witches or warlocks if you're a guy, you know? Or high priest or high priestesses, you know? It says, they see how powerful and magical you are. And sometimes they wonder if you have them under a love spell. So not that this person think that you done put a spell on them. Yeah. So this person feel like, you know, they are under some type of magical spell. Or they are under your spell. It's energy though. You didn't do nothing specific. The fact that you are a divine being, your energy is always going to be very, very strong. Like it's, and whoever this person, like if you guys move on, when you are messing around or have a connection with a divine being, right? Someone who got all these mystical gifts and stuff, very spiritually inclined, chakras aligning, you know, just you, you, you take care of your, your spiritual hygiene and the fact that you have these extra gifts as well it's really hard for people to replace this type of energy because this type of energy leaves a stain on you this is the type of energy that is like they could talk to other people but they're always gonna feel like they're coming up shortchanged or if there could be more or it's just something missing <clears throat> they're they're always going to be looking for this type of energy but this is this is the only type of vibe that they can get from you yeah, they are, pl they are planning right now to come towards you and ask you for a second chance. So expect communication from this person. So this person got some type of bright idea. Yeah, this person has some type of bright idea about how you guys can work together. Because power couple energy is here. It's like they see that both of you have equal exchange of power, which can make you unstoppable as a couple. So you guys may be dealing with like someone who is who has gifts as well, whether they know it or not. You know, this person may not even know how powerful they are. And this is why spirit is holding them um, very much so accountable for their behavior. Yeah, this person was wearing a mask with you. <clears throat> they intentionally hid their feelings and emotions for you, which caused you guys to go within. Yeah. The fact that you pulled your energy back from them and you're spending time in solitude is making this person kind of check themselves. Like they're being forced to look within and be like, wow, like I'm really that messed up. Like, you know, I really need to change. I need to get myself together because I do have a connection with this person. I need to stop. Like this person has left so many people out in the cold. This person has broken so many people's hearts. Yeah, they are emotionally unavailable for your highest it's for it is for your highest good to move on and find happiness again so i feel like this person got this bright idea how they can come back towards this mystical creature you know but you are like i don't know the betrayal has turned you into this medusa energy you guys you remember medusa if you know the story of medusa she wasn't always 
a monster. Like she was like one of the most beautiful women ever. And you know, she was, she was raped by one of the gods and pretty much they victimized the victim. Like, you know, they victimized her after they had already made her the victim. She was pretty much like um, punished for her beauty, you know? So it's just like, this person has turned you cold. You, this person has turned you hard. You know, this person has turned you into this Medusa's energy. They they did this to you. Yeah. They turned you they turned you cold towards them. Yeah, a lot of you guys are deciding to go on a new path, pick a new journey. It says this love journey may be long and challenging, but so long as you are within them. Oh, wait a minute this love journey may be long and challenging but so long as but so long as you are with them you'll never walk alone i'm gonna start out the car because i'm really thinking they're talking about spirit <laughs> because you know when you have spirit guiding you you are never alone right now we know the message spirit plotting <laughs> some of you guys could be dealing with an african-american male with like a bald head um that's for some of you guys this person is plotting okay they this person know that they need to step their game up to get your attention because they know this person is sure that you have options like you're way too beautiful. You're way you're way too powerful not to have options, not to have, you know, other people wanting your time, wanting your attention. Yeah, this person is they are in the energy of lack right now. Like they are longing for you, they are missing you. You know, their life is empty without you. This person feels lost without you. You know? But you guys are extremely guarded. You're not taking no chances with this person. And this person is craving you. Like, you're not taking no chances with them at all. And they are craving you. <clears throat> you guys be careful, you know, because you don't want to jump into another karmic cycle with this person if they're not ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to jump into another cycle with them. It says stuck in a loop. It says a pattern has become familiar to them and they're wanting to break free from the same loop they keep repeating so this person is fully aware that they keep doing the same thing and it's leading you guys down the same rabbit hole and they are fully aware you know that this is something that, that they need to change about themselves all right wow empath so yeah you guys have a lot a lot of gifts with the witch and the empath being here very very spiritual very powerful being you know but this person has turned this powerful being like they you have turned so cold against them this person is like literally fearful to even approach you this don juan energy is here so this is like a ladies man type of um energy with this sagittarius so this person could have been like um <clears throat> a ladies man or a, a, a female who deals with a lot of guys but this person is they're they're ready to put this fire arrow in you like this person's ready to put their claws in you i'm hearing you know this person is also watching you with the stalker energy so it's here again this person is stalking you guys yeah but you guys are in your nurturer's energy with the caregiver energy like you guys are taking care of yourself your home your your kids like, you know, you're just really taking care of yourself right now. So you you don't really, yeah, because you are, you you are, I heard, licking your wounds or you're, you have healed, healed your wounds. Past life energy. So, yeah, this is a past life soulmate that you guys are dealing with. This person is from your previous lifetime. Didn't I say wizard? Wow. Okay. Look, witches and wizards. I just said that. And wizard energy is here. So you have the witch energy and you have with the empath and the wizard. That's I know I have an equal balance of masculine and feminine um, powerful sorcerers that watch me. This is how I know. I just feel it. This person has some type of an addiction that they're tied to. Capricorn and beauty. Yeah, this person is addicted to you. 
they are addicted to your they are addicted to your beauty how beautiful you are but the thing about it is like i'm hearing like this person they want to hold on to you like a trophy or something like that medusa is here again look at this shit you guys i cannot make this up like where is it medusa here again this person have turned you so cold like literally you just look through them you're cold to this person you don't want to hear nothing that this person has to say like you literally could just turn this person into stone they you have turned this person have turned you cold towards them and that is definitely their fault you guys have a very old ancient soul you guys communicate with with higher level beings what else spirit Give me two more cards and then I'm going to move on to another deck. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Some of you guys have a crush that you don't even know about. Somebody outside of this person that is watching you. Yeah, because you got this crush energy and you have this rebel energy. You got somebody that you that is watching you, that's crushing on you, that you may not even know about. And then you got this crazy person from the past that you had several past lives with that's a rebel. So there's like this bad boy type of energy that you're absolutely in love with. Or this bad girl type of energy that you are in love with this person, this Capricorn energy. This person is always, you know, in this devil energy, this Don Juan, ladies man type of energy. But you love this person. You love this person. This is the energy of the person that is your past life soulmate. All right. You're telling me that's the month. All right, spirit. Spirit, I just saw 1717 on the clock. All right, Spirit, give me the energy for this person for the next 48 hours. What is the 48 next 48 hours energy for this individual? What will their um, energy be towards you? 48 hours, the harpent. This person is like, this talks about tradition. And this talks about building towards something traditional. And this talks about being guarded. Okay, so let me say this. And this person is working on their relationship with God. Like this person know that they need to work on their relationship with the higher energy. So this is somebody who know. This person is, is within the next 48 hours, they're going to be working on getting closer to source, getting closer to God or whoever they view as, you know, that, that, that powerful energy in their life. I feel like this person is still going to be a little guarded, though. Yeah, this person is still going to be guarded with their communication and stuff like that. Kind of, you know, cutting. Yeah, but I do feel like spirit is working on this person, you know, working on them so that this person can give you an offer that you deserve with the Ace of Cups energy. Because right now, all they can give you is the Page of Cups. You know, a page and an Ace is way too many. It's two different things. Also, I'm saying it's, this person could be um, offering options, small options as well, meaning whoever this of these other options are that this person is dealing with, I see them like feeding into that into those situations, but very small. Like they're they're feeding into these seven of cups energies, these other people, they're breadcrumbing these other people, but they really want to give you this ace of cups. They want to give you the biggest cup. Yeah, this person, they, within the next 48 hours, you know, I see this person wanting to work with you, wanting to build with you. Regardless, like, because they may not come towards you and say this, though. Yeah, four swords. This person is not going to say this in the next 48 hours because this person is in resting mode right now. This person is resting and connecting with spirit right now. So that they are breadcrumbing these other options. These people, if, the, if your person is dealing with anybody else, you guys, they are breadcrumbing them. They are. Like... These energies can feel your person pulling back. That's what this is. 
Yeah, because I feel like this person passion lies within you. Yeah, so look, you're their soulmate. They just going through a very tough karmic cycle. Spirit is definitely working with this person, working on this person. Look, the Hierophant and the um, Eight of Pentacles, Spirit is working with this person, working on them to like build them up, prep them. So that they can give you the true offer that you deserve, the Ace of Cups, the offer that you that you absolutely deserve. <clears throat> Let me pull one of these. I don't know why this is calling me. All right, Spirit. Wow. For some of you guys, this could actually lead towards marriage or end in marriage. <clears throat> All right. What else? person is energetically calling you in look soulmate this person is your soulmate and they are energetically calling you guys back into them they're trying to manifest you back in their life yeah for some of you guys you you will be meeting a new lover as well and for others of you guys it's this past energy wanting to come back new like they want to come back on with a new a new type of energy for you yeah, it is safe for you to love. I'm really feeling like I'm still leaning towards this new love, like a completely different new person that is going to be all the way safe. Like you're going to feel safe with this new energy. And I feel like this new energy is going to give this past energy a play for, uh, uh, give them a run for their money. Like this past person is going to have to really pull some tricks out their sleeve to win you over for real. It is not going to be easy at all. Let me find the message for the back imprisonment <clears throat> so you know i feel like this person is trapped in another situation um they may have a house with somebody else they're trapped there they feel trapped and confined there toil and labor so you know this is a very specific message this person may be working hard to pay off a house or they could have a house with somebody they feel trapped there you know they could be dealing with a mature woman but this person is definitely ready for um some type of change in order for you guys to have something special something real that's past a third party situation so all right you guys love and light